What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at the operating instructions for the Sega Ring system. Now this system is really a collection of arcade games for a bunch of different systems, not just Sega Ring, but I've put them all under Sega Ring and these are also considered to be the Techno Parrot games because Techno Parrot is the launcher that pretty much starts uh, most of these. Uh, some of them are not started by Techno, uh, Techno Parrot, but um, that doesn't matter. It's just a launcher. Um, you don't really need to know about that. Um, but basically, if we go over to the wheel and uh, we go into the wheel, you're going to see that I'm going the wrong way here. You're going to see that there's a bunch of systems that are included in these games. So there's the theme. Let's go into it. Now, if you look over to the left, the bottom left, next to the year, you can see the system that this was originally for. So this game here was for Sega Ring Edge 2. This one was for Sega Ring Wide. Again, Ring Wide, and you get the point. There's U Europa R, and there's uh, some Tato Type X in here as well. Now, what you need to know first is that any game that has a little picture of an Xbox controller next to it. Like if you look at this one, you see there has a little Xbox controller on top of the logo for the game. That is letting you know that you need an Xbox controller for that game. That is gonna be the case for pretty much all of the racing style games. Um, anything that doesn't have that, like this one, or this one, this one, you see there's no Xbox controller next to them, but then Mario Kart has one. So you know, these can obviously be played with an Xbox controller or with your X arcade joystick or iPad or extension, etc. But these can only be played with Xbox controllers. Now, of course, if you have the new um, X arcade joystick that has the X input mode, of course, you can flick it over to the X input mode and you will be able to play these games as well. But unless you have that, then, you know, you have to use the Xbox controller for those games and uh, you know all the other games you can play with either or. Now another thing to know is that anything that is a gun game like this one here, Sega Golden Gun is a gun game, um, Let's Go Island is a gun game, you're going to be able to play those with either a mouse, your trackball, or the Xbox controller. I've configured the right analog stick to be the uh, the mouse and you know your left trigger is going to be the uh, the left mouse click which is usually your your gun trigger and sometimes the right trigger is reload or you know some other sort of bomb or special weapon or to change weapon types stuff like that I've also configured the X and A buttons to do the same thing so you'll be able to play those with the Xbox controller, even though it's not ideal, but um, you will be able to play them with your trackball or a mouse. That's that's the best way other than a gun. And of course, these games will be included over in the gun games specific wheel, and you will be able to play all of them with the aim track light guns. All right, so let's go ahead and start some of these games up because showing you the menu system here does doesn't do anybody any good so let's go ahead and into some games and let's show you a few little quirks to watch out for so starting with mario kart arcade gp let's go ahead and launch that and what i want to show you on this game is that a lot of these are going to be in japanese and some of them are going to have partial translations now these translations are worked on, um, you know, by different people or groups, and they release new versions uh, occasionally. And if any new versions are released, I will be sure to put them on here. But this is the latest one as of right now, and it's not a full translation. So some of the menus will be translated and some will not be translated. And speaking of uh, this game, note that it's taking quite a little bit of time to to load and that's going to be the case for a good majority of the games on this system they do take some time to load but they're totally worth it
now going forward uh, in the video here, I'm probably going to go ahead and fast forward or speed up some of these loading times uh, just to save some time on the length of this video. All right, so we're just about in the game here. And uh, if you notice, this game had a little Xbox controller next to it. So that's what I'm using. And it's a racing game, so that's a good way to know. So I'm going to go ahead and press the A button on the Xbox controller. And I'm going to go ahead and say, I think, no to this one. As you can see, Japanese, so just kind of, you know, press next. And... Uh, Select your character. Select Mario. See, all this stuff is in English, but then some of it is not in English. Just skip through all of this stuff. And just kind of, you know, select. I think this is kind of like your avatar. I'm just pressing A through all of this. And let's do this one. All right, so that's basically what I wanted to show you guys with this game is that some of it is in English and some of it is not in English. Um, and just real quick, I'm going to actually do a little bit of playing here and just give you a few tips on the controls. It takes forever to load these games, but they're, they're real good games, so I don't really mind it too much. All right, so as usual for, for uh, racing games, your uh, right trigger is your gas, left trigger is uh, brake. Now in this game, when you hold down the, the gas, if you press brake, he actually jumps. And that's just the way the game is. And if you wanna, if you wanna drift, you press both triggers at the same time while pressing you know, left or right, so like that. Right there, I pressed both triggers at the same time, and you press, you know, the direction you want to turn in. And, of course, your A button is the item. You shoot the item with the A button. So, yeah, that's it. You jump with the right tri uh, left trigger, I'm sorry, if the right trigger is pressed down, and you can drift just like that by pressing both triggers at the same time and a direction. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next game. All right, so next up, let's go ahead and check out Super Monkey Ball. Let's go to S. All right, so start that up. Now, this is a mouse or trackball game, and I've also configured the Xbox controller to uh, act as a mouse. So we're going to insert credit. And one thing about this game is the volume is very low. So you're going to have to crank your volume to hear anything. And even then, it's pretty low. So again, you can't play this with a joystick like the extension. Um, with the actual joystick itself, you have to use the, the uh, trackball. And using the Xbox controller, you will be able to use the uh, left analog stick. And if you wanted to use a mouse, you can do that as well. So that's it for this one. Let's go ahead and quit out. All right, so another mouse game is gonna be Puyo Puyo. Now, I'm not gonna start this one up because I know it has issues with my screen capture. While, it ha while I'm recording, it doesn't seem to like to launch. But for this one, you're gonna notice that when you start it up, there's gonna be a big cursor in the shape of a hand. And that's letting you know that this is really a mouse game. Um, I think originally this was a touch screen and you would touch the selections on the screen. So, you know, using a, a, our PCs, you're going to go ahead and use the mouse for that purpose. Now, of course, you can control the 
cursor with your Xbox controller. And if you have a trackball, you can control it with your trackball. Um, no normally, I assign the mouse to the right analog stick because the left one will usually be movement of the character. But in this case, you do everything with the with that cursor. So I've assigned it to the left analog stick. All right, so moving on here, let's go ahead and try another game. Uh, what are we doing here? Let's do this one. All right, and then this one, I just want to show you real quick that if you press the start button, it's not going to respond and don't worry about it. The game is not broken. It's just this is a driving game and some driving games you act, you, uh, you press the right trigger, which is gas instead of your start button when you want to make selections or, you know, get into the game. So right here, normally for another game, you would press start, but start isn't going to do anything for this one. So if you press the right trigger, that's going to take you into the game and press the right trigger again. And then you're off and running and you can go ahead and make your selections. You make all selections with the right trigger. Now, after this one, I'm just going to go ahead and do one more game. I'm not going to go through every single game because we're going to be here all day. But I'm going to do one more game and it's going to be School of Ragnarok. And that game is very good, very cool game but it takes forever to load. So just be aware that you're going to be waiting for anywhere from three to five minutes for that thing to load. And I'm just going to show you a little bit of gameplay on this one and then we'll move on. Now I selected automatic. If you select manual your uh, up and down shifts are going to be your left and right button uh, left and right bumpers you know your right trigger is gas and your left trigger is brake brake all right guys so let's go ahead and move on here and we're going to wind up here with school of ragnarok which i would say might be one of my favorites on this system so far There it is. Start that up. Now I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this whole loading time here because we're, we don't want to wait here for five minutes. Um, but just know that in real life, it's going to take about three to five minutes. So just uh, be patient. All right, so we're just about in the game now, but there's still more loading to do. So um, let's just get through these menus here and then we'll wait a little bit more till we finally get into the game. Now that initial loading time is not the entire like five minutes that I was talking to. That is part of all of this as well because there's a little bit more waiting to do. Um, but here is asking you to press start. So we're going to do that whether you have an Xbox controller or a tank stick. For this one, I'm going to try the tank stick since I've been using the Xbox controller this whole time. So I'm going to go ahead and press the player one start. And I'm going to press it again. Just press player one start. This is another game that is obviously not in English, so you just kind of have to guess your way through. Here you want to press player one start and you want to go to the left and select that option. And press player one start again. Now the screen is going to go black here. Don't worry. That's what's supposed to happen. No 
okay and that was black for quite a while so let it load guys don't worry about it that's the way this game is um so pick your character i'm gonna choose this first one here press start Okay, and then here you want to press start again and go to the left, press start again. And finally, we're in the game. Now I'm going to skip this whole intro here. Now keep in mind, guys, that I'm recording this on the same PC, so maybe be a little bit sluggish at points, but that's just because I have um, the screen capture going on and that's pretty, uh, that, that's pretty resource intensive. So anyway, all right. So yeah, you're in the game now. Some uh, tips here, just for the hell of it. If you press uh, the two buttons, uh, so first row, first button, and second row, second button, that is to grab, so like that, right? And then if you press and hold top row, first button, and top row, third button, he does this like power move thing, like that. It's pretty cool. There's another special move that, that you can do in the game that I haven't quite figured out how to do on the um, tank stick, but with the Xbox controller, you can hold down the two triggers and he does it. So let me see if I can get to that point. And then I'll pick up the, uh, the Xbox controller and do it. Now, another quick tip here, your start button is actually going to work to do uh, some actions in this game. So basically you have like, it, it, the, you know, that's your main character there that you, you see on the screen. But if you see those other characters running around the background, you know, each person has kind of like a, like a tag team type thing. So you, that's the special move I was talking about. Let me see if I can do it. That was the, the computer doing that. Yeah, I'm not able to pull it off right now. I'm not exactly sure how to do that. I haven't figured it out yet. But maybe one of you guys can figure it out for me. But um, yeah, so like I was saying, your start button is going to act as the kind of assist button. So you can have your your character, your your co-op do, do do like come over and do us something. So if you if I press that right now, see how my opponent is covered in bats. And then your coin button is also going to do something. Now, I believe the coin button makes it so that your your teammate moves to different places in the map. And that's supposed to do different things in this game. Um, again, not entirely sure yet on how to 100% play this game. But you can definitely look this stuff up and Google it. There's a website out there that kind of explains some of this stuff. But um, it's a really cool game. I just haven't totally figured out how to do all the different moves and everything there he goes again it's the one thing I don't know how to do Let's see if I can pull it off now nope Alright, let's go ahead and exit this game. And yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Um, you know, just expect this uh, system is not perfect. Just remember that. And uh, there will be a couple glitches here and there. Might have to start a game uh, more than once if it crashes or anything like that. But it's, it's a cool system. There's a lot of cool stuff on here. And uh, for me, it's worth it to kind of deal with uh, some of these glitches and all that stuff. So I'm going to leave it there. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next one.